Ever eaten a cockroach? Ever eaten a what? Cockroach. Cockroach. Ever eaten a cock? <laughs> Male chicken. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. He ended some Corbin. Cock a little dude. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram Twitter. Twitter. Instagram. It's so juicy. It's going to be a Well, today. Whoa. What? I don't know. What are we doing? We're doing a movie review. Uh, and oh, it, you know what? The classics are over. Oh, man. Forever. Till next February. Yeah, we're right? never, never yeah. watching another one. Sorry Not about again until next February. Joke. Anyways, um, so uh, we are watching, we watched Trapped, finally. <laughs> it took forever, a long time. but only because I couldn't find it. It was it's, trapped somewhere. It's not available, like it's, I think it's available in India on Amazon, but it is not available in the United States on Amazon. Nope. I had to go on Amazon for sh find the DVD, but I had to go to Amazon Canada, because <laughs> you can actually switch. Right. On Amazon through different countries, you can Amazon India, right. Amazon Canada. I went on Amazon Canada, and I found the DVD, and so that's how we were able to watch it. It's been recommended to us since we watched since we Rock saw Mark. Since we saw the trailer, and I remember when we saw the trailer, we're like, "Want to watch that?" Do you remember when we saw the trailer and we didn't realize it's Raj Kumar Rao? Of course, but on, I don't think at the time we knew Raj Kumar Rao. But even I think still, we thought it was VJ Ross, probably. <laughs> but even still, like after a while, I knew Rajkumar, and then I was like, "Oh yeah, when you watch Trapped," and then it's I almost didn't realize that it was Rajkumar mm -hmm. in the trailer until later. Yeah, because we, yeah. Was, we haven't been as familiar at the beginning as we are now, obviously, with the Rajkumar Rao. But yes, Trapped. Uh, it is. Hold on. Where is it? Is that it? 2016, it looks like, film. Yeah, that's uh, a Hindi film. A man struggles to survive after he unintentionally locks himself in a high rise devoid of food, water, and electricity. Yup. Yep. And it's directed by, say his name? Uh, Vikramaditya Matwani. I know he's not the guy who directed Devdas, but is he the guy who directed? Yes. Same guy yeah. that directed Udan. Udan. And I'm sh assuming other, th I don't know if it's the same guy as Queen as well. Same guy? I know he was part of it, but I don't know if he directed it. Uh, no, no. He was part of it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so he directed Udan as well, obviously starring Rajkumar Rao and then right. a small appearance by. Uh, yeah, by uh, Gitanjali Thapa. Yes. Who plays Nori. Um, it's only 90 minutes. It's and it's produced by, obviously, one of the big things right at the beginning is you see the logo and you know it's coming from uh, uh, on your own car shop and company. That? Right? Uh -huh. That's what it is? Yep. Uh, but, uh, anyway, Kashi out. It's going to be spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Once again, really short. Uh, it's on Amazon, I believe, in India. Uh, so go check it out and then come back. Yeah, Stupid uh, Babies anywhere else in the world. Um, if you're in Canada, you know where to get it there. But anybody else, because there's the stupid families literally in every country. I don't know why it was so difficult to find. With, with a star as big as Raj Kumar Rao, it's weird to me. Very strange. And, uh, and produced by Anurag. Very strange. Very weird. Uh, but anyways, so Rick, uh, your initial thoughts. Well, I'm having a hope before we go into this. So we'll see if my hope is fulfilled. Uh-huh. And So I'll tell you the hope after I say it. Okay. I didn't like it. Okay. Did you like it? I did. Okay, great. That was my hope. Okay. My hope was we would have a disagreement about it as to what we liked and what we didn't dislike. Well, I didn't, I didn't love it. But I liked it. Okay, I didn't like it. Okay. Yeah. Why? Now, I like Rajkumar. Okay. As everything we've ever seen him do. Mm -hmm. Even, for example, you pointed out your least favorite thing from him, him thus far is White Tiger. But he was still enjoyable. Yeah. Okay. I Same here. For me, there were so many things that strained credulity and the believability aspect for me that I couldn't stay engrossed in a story that was just not believable for me. It felt... And, and as a premise... The originality factor for me was this was the, this was the exact same premise as Castaway. It's just put in an apartment. Well, that's a very different uh, situation in an apartment. <laughs> it is, but it's the same story. He has a relationship with somebody. He gets stuck somewhere for a period of time, and he comes back, and he's not was, with that person because she moved on with her life. That's Castaway. And he talks to a rat instead of a soccer ball. I mean, a volleyball. Well, that was one scene. I know. But the premise... <laughs> The premise is... That was one scene. Passed away. Well, there's lots of films that have the same premise as others. Oh, I know. But here, 
They make, I think it was, uh, I've never seen this story because obviously True. in America, you, you wouldn't have this. Because, well, I guess, because, you know, you could call a bellhop or you could, you know, whatever. Uh, it would only work, I think, in, in, in this uh, situation. Yeah, but there were so many, uh, just nonstop things where I was like, okay, so why why are we doing this? Really? We're, that's not noticed? That's not noticed? That's not noticed? What? That's not noticed? Uh, but you tell me what you liked about it first, because well, I have a long list of those things that just strain credulity for me. One, I really enjoyed Raj Kumar. I, I did too. Obviously, I think he, was he good. did a phenomenal job. Uh, I enjoyed the simplicity of the story, um, and I think it it just I I would have loved it if it would have actually gone farther in terms of um, making me even more uncomfortable. Uh, I always enjoyed. Did those. you even get uncomfortable? Well, I don't like it when people drink their urine. Yeah, or eat, and we'll get to that. In or a second. eat rats. Yeah, you know I don't I don't enjoy those, but I just I, I wish they would go farther. Uh -huh. Like um, Castaway, even though I wasn't a huge fan of Castaway, um, the you know, certain moments that just irked you. You know, yeah, oh, um, absolutely. Like uh, you know when he took his tooth out, or you know, there's a whole a bunch of different moments like that. Um, so I thought it was. Well done. I, I, I would have liked a different ending. I, I think they, going back in the apartment, I didn't really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, that's just my personal taste. I don't, I don't like it. I yeah. would prefer to end on like, even him just walking out would have been, I think, a perfect ending. Would have just. I thought it was going to end at that point when, yeah. he used to, when, he, when he walks past the guard and he's just walking about into the city and looking around. I thought mm -hmm. that was going to be the But end. I thought he did a, a really good job for, um, it takes a certain kind of actor to actually carry a film that you're basically the only one in. Yeah. And obviously Agreed. he's a very talented actor. Very good. Who can absolutely do that. And I, and I feel like he did do that uh, quite well. Um, and yeah, but overall it was a very, very simple story. It was, yeah. there was no, it's I mean, one of the most simple stories I think we've ever watched. Yeah. And the simplicity isn't, I love the simplicity of the story. I love the concept. That's why I had high expectations for this thing gotcha uh but there were so many things that i thought of while watching it that i couldn't imagine why rajkumar rao or anurag kashyap or any of the other creative team and the writers mm -hmm. and the director didn't go another step to get rid of those things for mm -hmm. me even like you mentioned the fact that he drinks his pee mm -hmm. okay his pee he was hydrated when he peed he wouldn't have been hydrated after that long without water. His pee should have been a very dark yellow. And seeing that instantly drew my attention to, why am I supposed to believe he's been without water for three days and he's going to the point where he's drinking his own pee when he's not dehydrated? There were dozens of instances like that mm. that pulled the believability out for me. Interesting. So, and I don't want to go on a tirade of, it was also this and also this, but I, I literally, I've got at least 12 different points in the film where gotcha. something like that happened. And my thought was, why didn't anybody notice this to fix that? Because anybody in survival mode, uh, anybody in this situation, there's so many moments I was like, okay, why didn't he think of that? Why isn't he doing that? Why aren't they noticing that? Where did the debris for the television go? What did it, so that believability is the number one thing for me, not just in the performance of an actor, but in a film. So if there are things for me that pull me away in the believability factor, I can't. I can't become engrossed in the story. Well, I think that's one of the things that with survival films is you're always supposed to be questioning, like, why didn't you do that? I, you do that with Castaway. Like you, I always do that with survival films. I'm like, okay, why yeah. don't, why don't, because th this is what I would do. I'll be sure. It's like, if he saw that thing, I was like, I'm pretty sure I could scale that thing. But you know, I'll, you know certain people might not. Um, if one, they might be too short or they might be scared of heights and they might go, cause like, right, right, right. look down, right. It's like, that would be my way out because I'm pretty sure I could, you know, go down like that. So that's, that's one of the, my favorite things about like zombie films or, or whatever, so things that you have to survive. Right. Like you question it all the time. I question all those films. Cause I'm like, okay, I would have done this. Why well, do yeah, of course, <laughs> but not just. Why did he make that decision? I would have made that decision. So for example, I was, I made a list of other films I've seen that for me are like, uh, way superior in terms of believability and one person stories or two person stories of survival. Mm. Robert Redford in All is Lost. 
uh, is spectacular. There's no flaws in that movie. And he has one line in that film, and it was improv. He's in the middle of the film, he just screams fuck. Uh, there's no other lines in it. There's no other people in the movie. It's just Robert Redford lost at sea. Uh, I also uh, love the movie, uh, uh, obviously, when I mentioned Cast Away. Um, the, I, I remember it was called The Two Towers. It was Nick Cage and another actor, and it's, it was about 9-11. The true story of the guys that got stuck at the bottom and the movie is just these two guys oh, i've seen it it's terrible stuck and talking but i love that concept I hate for, that. so for for tra so for example not just i would have done something different mm -hmm. here are some of the things that for me were why several times we saw camera shots mm -hmm. that show you directly beneath him cars traffic people and rather than drop the myriad of things in the apartment that fit through that slot, like the pot, the bricks, the plaster things, the tool he tried to open the door with, the other things, it was the cardboard thing he threw out. I just found it hard to believe that there wasn't the plausibility that he could have tossed any of those heavy objects down into the street or to the people directly below. When the TV went down, it suddenly, did you, if the building had been deserted for two years, wouldn't it have struck somebody to see a TV laying at the bottom that clearly had fallen from the top of the place? But it just, the, the debris disappeared. The debris was just suddenly not there anymore. As well as the fact that, did it not dawn on Rajkumar Rao's character when the guy took him to the place that he's in a completely abandoned building for two years? And that didn't occur to him that there's something odd about this transaction. Maybe he was just blinded by the fact he wanted to be with this girl. But that, for me, strained mm. credulity, as did not even thinking, okay, so the walls are made of drywall or plaster. They're not going to be concrete at that height. Why doesn't he just kick through the wall to get into the apartments on the other side of it? Mm. Yeah, that's... Those kinds of thoughts and things I was seeing pulled me away from the believability. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah that's something I would have, uh, and I, I would have done, is obviously break all the walls. Yeah. Um, one... You don't, I don't know how thick they are and I don't know what's in between them, but there might be pipes. If it is long enough, you could, there could be beams. Yeah. You could kind of get down via that way. Right. Um, that, that didn't bother me because there's always stuff like that in, in survival films. I, uh, and, I, I get what you're saying. And yeah. why did the woman, two things, the woman who came over, mm -hmm. why didn't she show the sign to the guard when he said no one's been in here for a while? Why, why didn't she say, okay, well, I'm over here because I got this. And then when she went in, why did she only go a few, few flights up and then just randomly decide, oh, I'm just not going to do this? She didn't see anything. Maybe she was like, there's nothing here. I don't know. Yeah, but didn't, I, still, if it's written like that and you found it and you're, you, you're interested enough to walk over there, that for me was, again, it just strained credulity to me that she, and so I, again, I don't want to, I'm not trying to harp it. I'm just trying to give you my explanation. Mm -hmm. That's what I was hoping for, that we would have a disagreement about the liking of it. Mm. I just couldn't get myself into the story, as well as his escape. If you've ever watched Naked and Afraid, if you've been without food for five or six days, these guys barely have the energy sometimes to chop down a branch on a tree, let alone repel five stories and then kick a glass door down. Yeah, you could have some level of adrenaline, but every episode I've ever seen of Naked and Afraid, when you're at that level of malnutrition, which it isn't really malnutrition, you're just undernourished and you have no energy, no protein, no nothing. And I know he had a couple of birds, but it was it just was very difficult for me to comprehend and that the door actually just happened to be open for him when he got into the apartment. Well, those doors wouldn't be locked. Well... Plausibility for me at that point, I was like, "Of course, the door's open for him." Well, why? Why would the door be locked? Why it's abandoned? <laughs> yeah, but they had to get a key to get into his apartment. Well, I don't think. I think they actually needed to just push it open. I think I don't. I don't remember if they actually used the key or not. I don't know. For me, it was that. Those were just the myriad of things for me. I was like, it, like I said at the outset, for me, it was cast away without the believability. Hmm. But. Except for Rajkumar, he, with what he got, like he does all of the time, did a very good job yeah. with everything that he got. I thought he did it. Really he's a dedicated actor. And he's one of the most versatile actors. Who can do I pretty think, much anything you hand him. I think. And he obviously has the ability to 
uh, carry a film uh, as a lead, as a supporting character. Yeah, I, for all of that, this shows you how good of an actor he is. For all of those things that bothered me, I didn't want to turn it off because I still wanted to keep watching him. Yeah, yeah, he was, I, I, I really, I, I enjoyed this one because I was, I was going in it and I was like, okay, this is a survival film and I enjoyed those aspects of it. I didn't have much questions. I mean, there was, I, I same amount of questions I would have, as I did for Castaway, which I, I told you, I'm not actually a huge fan of Castaway. Uh, I, 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 I like never, it a lot. never was. I like it a lot. Um, but in terms of those style of films, zombie films as well, I'm, I have those exact same questions and it, it that's just, I think the genre. And so I'm, I just assume that's, how it is because I, I always assume I'm smarter than the person in the, in the than true, the, than but, the movie. but like for like for All Is Lost with with uh, Robert Redford <clears throat> or Castaway, there weren't any moments in there where I thought that's not believable. I believed everything I was watching. I haven't seen those. Yeah, uh, but I, I will say this: you know the moment where he's going to eat the cockroach, and I thought it, I thought that was great to include in the story the hallucination. I thought that was really great, the, the survival guy coming into the place. Yeah. But the best cockroach eating scene, in my opinion, in cinematic history is Nicolas Cage in Vampire's Kiss. Which, Vampire's Kiss, have you ever seen that movie? I don't watch You won't watch Nicolas Nick Cage. Cage, I know. Vampire's Kiss is one of the quirkiest, funniest, dumbest movies you'll ever see. And it's because of how uh, insane Nicolas Cage gets. He's a, car he's a guy <clears throat> who has convinced himself he's turning into a vampire. That sounds like Nick Cage. And he's <laughs> he's freaking out because he doesn't he doesn't want to be the undead. But he really thinks it's happening. So he starts doing vampire things. So it starts with him doing like, you know, staying up late. And it's there's this moment, and if this was Nick Cage's idea, the scene, just look it up. Nick Cage eating a cockroach. The scene will pop up. It's a real cockroach. And it was Nick's idea to do it. He eats a cockroach on camera. Could you eat a cockroach? I could. There's very little I couldn't do on camera. Mm. Like, if we just did it right now, it would be much harder than if I'm around everybody in production and I know the whole studio. And, like, if you're working with Vishal Bardwaj is standing there and you're doing the film with Radhika Apte and Nawazid and Siddiqui and everybody's depending upon you to eat the cockroach, no question I'd eat the cockroach. Mm. No question. You? Yeah, I think the hardest thing would, would you be, take the role? No. Oh no, this yes, no, uh, nothing. I'm not talking film though. I'm talking. Oh, just if you were in this situation. Oh, I I'd do anything. Yeah, drinking the pee would be the hardest thing for me. I I I've watched, I could probably eat the rat. I could probably I could eat the pig. Obviously, I've watched enough bear grills and I've done enough hunting that I drinking my own pee wouldn't be a big deal. Doing something like taking elephant dung and squeezing the liquid out of it to drink it, mm -hmm. that I would do it. But man, would that be hard. I could, I, I would eat an eyeball because I know I could hydrate that way. So to survive, there's very few things I think I would ever look at in a life and death situation and say, I'm not going to do that. Mm. Um, but you never know until you're in a life and death situation. Yeah. So I don't know. I could drink my urine. That's gross. Yeah, easy. I could do that. I could do that right now if you asked me to. Gross. No, I'm not going <laughs> to ask you to do that. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. Let us know what should be the next Raj Kumar Rao film. He's got a lot. And Rao movies. We're, we're going to watch all of them. That They're good, good ones. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know which ones are the good ones. I don't. I know Shahid. Or it might be... Sh it might be Shahid. Kapoor? No, he has a film. Oh, he has a film. I think it's with Hansel. Because it's it Okar okay. and Shahid. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the, I think they're similar stories as well. Uh, but I know he's done a, a bunch of. And he has a new one coming out that we just saw the trailer to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that horror that looked one. Looked great. Yeah, it's the uh, makers of Street. And Kaipo Che with um, um, Sushant. That was one of their earlier films. Yeah, we just need to see that one. Uh, uh, Raj Kumar. So he's a bunch. Let us know what should be the next Rajkumar Rao film we should watch down below.